everybody. Welcome to Lifestyle Today. I'm your host, Justine Santanello. I hope that all my mamas out there had the most amazing Mother's Day. And I suppose now we can start to think about Father's Day. I'm just kidding, you guys. We will definitely have plenty of dad and grad gift ideas coming up next episode. Now, our first guest of the show is no stranger to Lifestyle Today. Dr. Sandra Lee is back to tell us all about the new season of the fan favorite, Dr. Pimple Popper. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you for having me here. So did you have any patients coming up this season that really stand out or maybe held a different place for you in your heart? I mean, it might not be like the biggest pop to people, but it, there are certainly people that stand out to me just because of their personal, personality or their really kind of cool, interesting pop that's a little bit different. And you're going to see those on the show. I don't want to give up away too much, but there's a few of them that are like sort of a surprise. Um, and those are always fun. But, you know, it has so much to do. It doesn't even have as much to do with the bump as it has to do with the person and their personality. You know, that's what really draws, I think, the viewers in too. And that's what really draws me to them. So then for those of us at home, right, do you have any advice as the expert? If we notice something, should we go to the doctor immediately? Is there something that we should be looking out for? Just any general advice? Well, I do think in general, there are two types of people. There's type like my husband, the moment he has something, he can't stop talking about it. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to make an appointment with a doctor like next week, you know? And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I've had that same problem like every day for the last three months and I'm just waiting for it to go away. <laughs> so like there's two different kinds of people in the world that I tend to be that person like, oh, maybe let's see if it's here tomorrow, you know? But I do think that one of the important things for me as a dermatologist, as a skin doctor, is that you really want to pay attention to bumps that kind of kind of like appear and then go away, but might bleed again a little bit or, you know, or stop bleeding. They like kind of persist for a while. Those are things that you do want to get checked out because they could be signs of a little skin cancer, you know? So you want to be, those are the things we're most worried about. And the other thing is I, I like to tell people to trust their intuition because even if it isn't anything, if you're worried about it, it'll probably make you feel better if you see somebody and they will say like, you're okay. This is nothing to worry about. All right, final question. And I know that you can't give away too much, but what can we expect from this new season? I, I don't want to give up. Like I'm thinking about one thing and specifically that was with this, this woman in her palm for since she was like four years old. And that was quite an amazing, uh, amazing thing that we did. And it was not a, not a giant bump like the size of my head, but <laughs> it was pretty darn cool and interesting. Um, and uh, a lot of pops, a lot of squeezes, a lot of cheese, a lot of a lot of me a lot of mess. So we try to keep it clean, and not very much discomfort or pain. Oh, thank you so so much for being with us. Thank you for having me here. All right, you guys, we'll be right back with our first in studio guest of the day. Mm -hmm. 